वेलकम बैक टू एट एंड अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ नो कोड स्कूल सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग व्हाट इज वेब स्क्रिप्टिंग वेब स्क्रिप्टिंग इज एन ऑटोमेटिक मेथड टू ऑब्टेन लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ डाटा फ्रॉम वेबसाइट्स मोस्ट ऑफ दिस डाटा इज अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डाटा इन एन एचटीएमएल फॉर्मेट व्हिच इज देन कन्वर्टेड इनटू स्ट्रक्चर्ड डाटा इन एन स्प्रेडशीट और अ डेटाबेस दैट कैन बी यूज्ड इन वेरियस एप्लीकेशन देयर आर डिफरेंट वेज टू परफॉर्म वेब स्क्रिप्टिंग दिस इंक्लूड ऑनलाइन सर्विसेज APIs or even creating your code from scratch suppose you want an information from a website let's say a paragraph on donald trump so what do we do well you can copy and paste the information from wikipedia to your own file but what if you want to get large amounts of information from a website as quickly as possible such as large amount of data from a website to train a machine learning algorithm in such situation copying and pasting will not work and this is when we will need to use web scraping now let's see import from web import from web is an web extension which can be used to extract data without any coding so now let's see how it actually works first of all we need to install that from the net Just select any account right here and press on allow, and that's it. We just install import from web to our system. Now let's go to our Google Sheets. This is where our data would be scraped. Now let's activate our Google extension. Just go into the extension box and select import from web and click on activate. So now import from web a web extension will be activated in our Google Sheets and we can easily extract data. Before using import from web, you should know what an XPath is. XPath or XML path management is a non-XML syntax to provide a flexible way of addressing different parts of an XML document. It can be used to address nodes within a document to determine whether they match a pattern or not. So example, here book is used to select all the nodes with the name book. So that's all about XML. So now let us copy the link of the web page from which we need to scrape our data. and paste it in our google sheets now we need to inspect the web page to get the x path is upon inspecting just select on the pointer and select what we need now from the code just copy the x path that is xml path and then paste it in the excel sheet now we need to use our import from web extension just type in import from web and enter the url that is in a1 and then the selector so on clicking enter we will get the data the same steps can be reused for multiple selectors or the same selectors with different names So here I am using four different types of selectors which provides me with four different type of names. So that's all about import from web. Import from web has a large application. It can be even used with the Google Maps and much more. So we will be discussing more about the importance of applications or import from web in our following videos. So stay tuned for new videos and thank you.